the experiment in things that are righteous and worth it. But if you keep on, if you keep on doing the same thing, like making the same mistakes, having the, having the same bad habits and bad patterns, mm. and, and you keep running into the same brick wall, well, you've got no, you've got no fucking excuse. Yeah, anymore. and I mean the universe is keeping you science the front and center all the time. Yeah, all the time. And so, so for me, like failure, I think failure can be uh, can be really like tasty sometimes. Massive. You know, like. Um, something like rock climbing, which I absolutely love. It's the idea of failure is, uh, you know, letting go and falling, you know, but knowing that it's like, okay, there's my limitation. So failure for me is like a, like an acknowledgement of where, where I'm at, but where, where I could be mm. and where I want to be. Mm. And then you come back to like a certain client that you've been working on for a while and you just flash it. Like mm. you get up there with, with no effort whatsoever. Mm. And you're like, holy shit. But that came through failure over time. You know, but but acknowledgement of your own limitations and, and trying to work on them mm. for sure. So, you were away about a week ago, was it? Or? So, a uh, good friend of mine came back from South America and he's gone. He's gone wild on the rock climbing. Yeah, he's uh, doing his own. He's going to be doing a like a four hundred meter vertical cliff in Peru at the end of next month. Man, with, with the girl he met, and they're going to be sleeping on the edge. I think it's like a two day multi-pitch climb sick absolutely insane um but uh he came back to melbourne he's here for a few months and he just like was red hot he's like you know who wants to who wants to come with us who wants to party and by party he literally meant like camp out in the freezing ass cold yeah and and hike every day and climb and, <laughs> and do all this do all this like super insane shit which was awesome yeah it was so awesome because uh i'll let you in on a little secret i lost my license at the start of the year for okay the yeah so that, that's where my relationship Came abundantly clear with with alcohol and partying and, and, and drugs and uh, and people and then everything of the sort. Like I sort of manifested my own little personal hell. You know how Peterson, Jordan Peterson says, he goes, "Where would you be if you did everything you possibly could for things to go wrong? Mm. How bad could things get?" Mm. And uh, I was starting to to see the cracks of that appear. And losing my license was the least of it. Yeah, uh, but <clears throat> taught me a very valuable lesson in. Uh, not taking certain things for granted, not being a cocky little prick. Yeah. That you can get away with certain things. And the issue wasn't even like that I got caught. It was that I thought it was okay or I thought that I was invincible in the first place. Mm. It, t- it took a few months of, of self-reflection to, to realize that, but this year for me was very limited. I love going out hiking during the weekend. I don't want to, I don't want to be at some club. Yeah. You know, I don't mind being in a mate's place, having a couple of beers or, or at a pub here and there, like doing, doing those kind of things. But that scene, that party scene, that crazy, like, lose your mind on the weekend, you know, getting revved up. Weekend warrior. Weekend warrior, like, buy a bag on Thursday night so yeah. you're fucked by Sunday night. Yeah. Like, it's like... Uber Eats, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, right. Like, Forget, distract yourself. You're just like, you're, you're a sack of yourself. Yeah. Like, you, 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 you haven't really done much. Mm. And then you just go through the process of, like, recovering your, st- your peaceful state of mind throughout the week just to do it all over again. Yeah. Um, it's living for the weekend in the realest form. It's... I still, living for the weekend and like not I'm not judging people but I still think it's because I know it in myself I swear it's a form of escape oh it is yeah, a massive it has escape. to be it has to be like I for someone to say I can't wait for the weekend to begin yeah You're like dude that is so sad that, that must mean you like you despise your job yeah you have you have no energy to do anything you kind of truly love during the week mm. like, there's no there's no passion there's, mm. no, there's no fire burning anyway for me it was like not having a car meant I couldn't go out on the weekends like as in to to travel and adventure. I love yeah. going down the coast. I love jumping in the water, the, the ocean as much as possible. Salt water is the most has the most healing properties known to man. And mm. it's like even in the even in the winter in the cold, it's just like that that test and that challenge of yeah. being frozen, you know, like you, but you revitalize like hell yeah. So that's something I love doing. I love going to the mountains, I loved it. But not having my car meant I could do fucking nothing at mm. all. Not unless somebody else could or and was willing to like go with me mm. and like even then I prefer doing that shit on my own. So um, I lost the I lost the opportunity to like to spread that. I kind of adapted and started to, to do my own thing, um, but like I said to you before, it's like that that routine became I became too rooted in that routine, and uh, was starting to like lose the scope of my vision, mm. you know, because it was like this safe little world. But my mate coming back, and was yeah. like, do you want to go out there? I was like, yes, I've been dying for something like this. Yeah, and uh, not to. Not to preach and, and be like, hey, everyone get out there in nature. Like, <laughs> I've just come back from nature. Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't. Yeah. I regret. <laughs> but um, but it, so there was something about, first of all, the energy of good company um, and honest company. Mm. Somebody who um, I mentioned has been through his own fire mm. and uh, 
come come out of it so strong. Has faced so many fears, but learnt so much. Has a wealth of knowledge to, to share. Mm. Being being in his honest company, being able to tell him about my indiscretions and uh, and about my, my my woes and my fears and, and all these things. And again, like externalizing it, verbalizing it, um, and not just to him, mm. but to myself and to Absolutely. where and to where I was. Yeah, because like you're walking through like a like a beautiful landscape. Um, we have incredible incredible things here in, in Australia, let alone Victoria, like so close to home. Mm. And, uh, and I mean, the purpose of what we're doing, we'd, we'd hike out, we'd, we'd, we'd climb, and it's a, it's a test in uh, patience as much as it is self-control and, and self-ability because as a belayer, mm-hmm. when you're kind of at the bottom of the climb watching the person go up, you've got to pay attention. And it can sometimes take a long, you know, like a while. So you're kind of just standing there, waiting, watching, encouraging, but, you know, getting a little bit like... Like it's it's cold down here. Yeah. Like you're hot up there, but I'm freezing down here. Yeah, I hate um, you. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, like it's like hurry up, and then that person you swap over, and then that person gets cold. And yeah, you're, like, Man, you're hot. It's like yeah, I'm never coming off this. Yeah, now. like make you wait. It's like when you want to play cricket and you have to be the bowler to start. Yes. Like, yes. Oh, dude, and what? Yeah, you're, you're stuck. You're stuck. In the, I mean, I've been a fielder as well. Yeah, so yeah. Like, Wicket keepers where it's at. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Yeah, you just talk shit to the batsman. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you suck. <laughs> but um, that's her chat, yes. But um. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a really uh, a really powerful experience for for me. At, I think at that point in time, because mm. there was there was so many, I needed space from from a lot of things like from 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 those woes and those doubts and those insecurities, and uh, I think I was too embedded in my own hypocrisy and my own contradictions mm. to be able to talk openly and honestly without fear mm. of these issues because a lot of like what we find ourselves wanting to say and what we know we believe, Mm -hmm. we can't project it. We're afraid to project it because at this point in time, we are like ashamed of ourselves. Like we're not, we're not acting on those ideals. Even though we believe so strongly in them, we're doing the exact opposite. Or maybe we've recently done the exact opposite. We're still reeling from the consequences of that. And we can't quite see clearly through the, through the bullshit um, that, that's the righteous way. Mm. So the, uh, the openness, the toil of the trip, which permitted very little conversation, but so much at the same time, was uh, revelatory in that way. Mm. You know, very, very beautiful. And I think there's just a deeper sense of appreciation for the natural world as much as how we're connected with it. Mm. Um, and, then, uh, and, then, and then moving through emotions, you know. And, and there's an empowering aspect of that as well because no matter how tired you feel, no matter how exhausted you are, no matter how cold and every reason in the world to just like give up, mm. you don't want to. Exactly, you know? of course. Yeah. There's so much that you might actually miss out on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how much of this did you learn through plants? Through plant medicine? Mm. <laughs> it's tricky. I'm, trying to, I'm still trying to figure out, like, I'm still trying to distinguish how much of it was learnt through them, how much of it was already there. Mm. I think... I think for the most part, it was almost all there, but it was revealed through their lens. Yeah. Um, so is it almost by looking back on it, you can see, oh, that's what... Because I, I often talk about, just to digress slightly, I often talk about on that uh, same big trip that I called you from, um, It was there was a moment where I tried to escape and close my eyes, and obviously when you got a lot of psilocybin in it, you can't really sleep. And you're just <laughs> on. Can't and, do much at all. Actually. Yeah, you can't do... You just... <laughs> <laughs> you're doing yeah. a whole lot but you're not doing anything exactly yeah. exactly yeah no and I went down this, this void like pit of just falling and I found myself in this jail and I just had my eyes shut and I found myself in this jail this big like negative entity that I assumed to be my mum was standing up to me like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know just straight in oh negative entity yeah. definitely is <laughs> no don't worry she's taken on quite the my mum's taken on quite the form like that is awesome right? yeah 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 an angry Greek woman right? that's yeah that's but it yeah, yeah. hairy Greek woman <laughs> <laughs> She's a lovely lady, by I the way. Mrs. Say anything. No, no, I do love her. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she look. She was standing over me like this, and at the time, you know, because everything's just so overwhelming. You kind of like, oh shit, I'm in the bad books, you know, mm. yada yada yada. Mm. But then you start looking back on maybe some of the messages that were coming through. It was actually, I from from what I gained from it, you know, and I think it was a positive reflection. So I'll go with it. It was my mum, you know, looking down on me like this, saying that hey, you don't need to feel like what you've done is a bad thing. Mm. You know, just don't feel like you need to chase all these things to 
make me happy or do or do this to make him happy or do this to get this girl like you just just do you and I didn't understand that at the time that's such a beautiful message though it was incredible yeah. it was but it was so negative at the time so negative at the time you know because it was so because it was so overwhelming yeah. it had no concept of any self-awareness uh, whatsoever this this fucking thick ego wall mm. was so so strong and powerful that when something just drilled a hole through it I had no idea who this inner self was and then I was getting these experiences you know trying to reach through to that unconscious and it, I couldn't do it I couldn't do it that's why I was so negative but obviously looking back now it was the most positive thing that ever happened to me so it's one of those things yeah 